Okay, you're gonna grab the mirror out. And these things, you don't yank down on them. You pull them straight out. And a little bit of a yank down. Um, and that's that. Um, you can pull straight down, but I like to pull back and down a little bit. Um, very, very, very easy. Cracked. Well, it was already cracked, but we'll see. Okay. We've got little things. That piece with the cruise control thing is pretty interesting. I don't know if it's factory or not. I'm thinking it is. Got plenty of things to unplug here. That's for sure. Jeez. Seriously. All vacuum here. Yes. Uh, uh. Vacuum takes care of most of it. And then to unplug really simple. We got these. And that is an odd one there. I think the whole bulb comes out. Sure does. What was that? Fast the seatbelt light. Pretty cool. Okay, I think there's like just them two right there. Ah, we got the stuff down below in the back of the radio. That's got a screw on it. Like I care about. We ain't got no good dang clippers in here. They left these in my car at the auction, and they're bad to the bone. Man, you already got it while it's gone, though. No. We need to clip this one on. Well, actually, I'm gonna clip those right there. I don't like, Just I don't wanna. That one's good. What is this? That one's good. And then this one right here. Clip. Big money. Okay. We should be able to get our... Come on now. Ain't no weight in the door panel anymore. Screw on this one? They just slip off. Oh, no, you, you have to do them. Take these four bolts out. Oh, and then they screw? No, the whole thing come off. The whole unit comes out, yeah.
he doesn't even want my old top. Yeah, I don't doubt it. I get to keep my... Yeah, I just go to the junkyard when you're done. Yeah. Exactly. Parts. Any kind of parts you need. Here we should put the emergency brake on. Here we should put the emergency emergency brake on. Uh. We, it's all slipping around here. the linkage. This all just snaps off pretty simply. And then we've got your light things you don't want to rip, keeping much of one piece as you can. I'll cut them if I absolutely have to. So there's that. Um, you got some smaller things to get some of this stuff under here out or what? For that brush and stuff? For the brake? No, man, everything. I don't know, the brake and this. I want this, I want this thing tore apart, man. I want to make a junker out of it here. We ain't get nothing gonna get by us somehow. Like that, what is that? Ooh, yeah, you know, Bosch, Germany. That's money right there. That's like $5 a letter, guaranteed. Washer fluid. Yeah, I know. I'm just wondering if it holds it any whoosh. <laughs> the kick down. I think for the, a lot of them had a kick down there where you touch it. I don't know if it is or not. A squirrel cage motor right there. That's coming out next. Something to get this. Oh, that's big. That's what she said. side here. You're gonna need the big one again. Uh. 
But as you can see, we've really torn it apart and gotten quite a few parts out of her so far. Seat belts, rugs, hazard, um, door panels, tops of the door panels sitting in the wrong spot, carpets, ashtrays, console, rear seat, front seats, console for the middle with the radio. Have to take that apart piece by piece. Lots of miscellaneous stuff here. And in the next 20 minutes or so, a bunch more stuff. Um, this is just about, what was it, 25 minutes plus about 12. So, 35, I don't know, 40 minutes so far. And we've already got so much stuff off, it's pitiful. These don't take a super long time to do. Um, probably takes a little longer to film it than most anything else. Um, if I wasn't filming it, what I'm saying is we'd have more done. But it's a very, very simple process. that hopefully you enjoy my video and that's about all I know. My name is Nathan, it's 406-544-6919 and if you need any parts for this car, call me up. If you're wondering how to take something apart, probably not your guy. I end up breaking stuff sometimes just because it's not always a a breeze to take them apart. But, there is so much parts on one of these old cars. It got lit molding, oh man. You have to get that. And sure, it'd be easier with the little thing he's got in there. But I don't have that. And I'll probably put these little screws right back in here. This piece probably 20 to 50 bucks. Actually, I don't know for this model. He should have a couple more things off by the time we get up there. OneOwnerCarGuy.com for all your coolest, classic, unique muscle cars, Euro cars, classic cars, you name it. It's actually gonna be hard not to drop this piece and film. Got it. Okay, you get done with your parts, by the way. Take a second to thread your screws back in there. Ah. If they got washers on them, hey. Why not? Give them the washers too. But it'll make your part worth more to actually have the screws in there. Um, not a lot. A little, none less. So, try to keep them together. If you can. That's a nice piece of chrome there. Ah. You okay? Yeah. Little brackets. That's for that, I believe. Spare tire. Ah. starts coming all this part get all the latch stuff and gotta get the lights off here 
That is the next thing. So we shall see you later. And man, there's more. You can bet your left that I'm taking that. Ooh, smell like varnish. That is some. Woo! Really, huh? Can you smell that? Woo! That's bad. Well, it started raining on us. And um, we made a mad dash and got everything put back in the trunks. So we got a stack of stuff in the trunk. We got the whole, I guess you could say the back seat full, but I took the back seat somewhere else. So I got the door panels back here. Man, we got stuff off this. The other side, all the, that is gone. Same for the front on that side. Put the seats back in here for now, man. We got everything out, got the center all tore apart. It is getting pretty vague in here. It's been about an hour, a little under an hour, 50 minutes maybe, 45, 50 minutes. And it's, I've got about one and a half, I got about two man hours of time, almost. About an hour and a half to hour and 45, we figured. And we've got all kinds of parts. Tomorrow, trim, lights, stuff like that. Another hour or two. We'll see how much time we can put into this. Little by little, man, I can put as much as 1,200 bucks into taking one of these things apart. It's not a simple, easy process. It's a pain in the butt. One owner car guy. I'll clip some more in tomorrow. From all the carpety parts to the bumpers to windows and reels and pieces of the sides and you name it we've got it taken apart on this one steering columns out that's great we're gonna have to back in here and pick this thing up with no steering column i'm gonna yank the motor i've um, got everything mostly shells in the doors um, i'm gonna yank the bump wheels the cladding and i'm about done i'm gonna take that whole motor actually because it is so such a good runner. Had a bad tranny, bunch of back seat, back fees. The trays on the seats are good, but the seats themselves, eh, eh, you know? Okay, well, that's some part stuff. And that's a nice truck I actually gotta clean up. But that one's coming apart, and that one's coming apart, and the SD's coming apart, and the GTA here is likely coming apart, and the uh, BMW is coming apart, and the Seville there is coming apart, and oh god, it's ridiculous. It really is. And I hate to be the one taking these apart. Somebody took my Jag. That Jag was on there. Yeah, it was. Well, more shit. That's recent. Well, the rain did come, but. Trent got a couple more things off after we got everything shoved inside of it. As you can see, he got all the side trim. Not the lower yet. We got the lights off. It's all in good shape. Great shape. Look at that. Yes, sirree. Okay, don't have to pull the door handles anymore because it's all not intact. Now, these are just sitting in there because of the rain. Just pull them out in a couple minutes. Yeah, buddy. Big money in parts, yes sir. Well, free car contest. I'm making some videos on that. Just thought I'd show this in between. Screws everywhere, man. Look at that pile of screws there off that door. Okay, oneownercarguy.com. And I'll clip more in on this later. About an hour and a half or so into the um, deal here. And total man hours. Because there was two people on it for a little under an hour. Well, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you. Scrap a car, one owner car guy, and this will be the last video on our scrap a car, scrap a car, because the car is going to get scrapped. Man, Trent's got the bumpers off the other night. Um, I had a couple other, I had another guy that was working in here that, man, it's pretty bad when you can't even take something apart, right? Jeez. So, that's the deal on this, and sometimes someone lasts a day around here. Sometimes they might last an hour. Just depends. But I've got lots of stuff to take apart. 
And as you see, we've made a complete mess out of this. And have all kinds of parts and all kinds of stuff. I doubt I'll show any more of this. Um, I'm thinking about taking some doors because the doors are so clean. Maybe a fender. I'm going to do some looking up of prices. And see what we can get. Maybe these little mounts need to come off. That needs to come off. For sure. And I don't know. Alternator on these, but you know, it's pretty old alternator. Maybe the linkage for the carb would be neat to get. God, there's a lot of linkage. Look at it working back up in there and over here and over there and going back down there. Geez, this stuff is hooked up amazing. Wow. So I might pull that. Coil. Oh, we could use a coil. I don't know what this is. That's a horn or something. We could use that. That's vacuum. That ain't no horn. Could be a horn. I don't know what it is. We're going to take it. We're going to take this. We're going to take this canister, vacuum canister. Just take that whole damn thing out. I'll tell you. One owner car guy. One owner car guy .com. Lots of cool parts. Trunk lid. Hood. Bumper. Nice bumper. California blue plate. <whistles> well, that's it. Thanks for watching. And this one is out to the junkyard. Windshield and rear windshield? I don't know. That rear one's got a defrost in it. So that's definitely kind of cool with the factory defrost in it. Interesting. Ooh, the seatbelts. Got to get the seatbelts out. Well, thanks for watching. Have a great day or night. Trim, trim, tr tr trim, trim. And this is a way that a guy can... Man, sometimes these cars are just worth a heck of a lot more in parts than they are in one piece. And on this one, unfortunately, that's the situation we had. Gotta get that trimmed down below too. One owner car guy.com.